If you're wondering what the heck this is, this is uh, my attempt to show you how to capture lights at night. I'm going to turn these lights off here and show you in a second how to capture lights at night. I'm using the T7i, but this would apply with any camera pretty much if you know how to use the settings. And basically get the best photo you can with the lights. It's kind of like long exposure. You will need a tripod. Um, and I'm using the kit lens on this. I'm not going fancy here. Something you could do with the kit lens. It's very simple. So I'm going to turn the lights off here and let's get started. What I found. So what I'm going to do here is just take a couple pictures to show you on auto mode. And then we're going to jump in to the manual mode and kind of like a long exposure, but not really. Um, well, really, I don't know, whatever you'd call it. Let's put this on auto mode here, right there, it's in manual. Let's take it over to standard auto, okay? And let's just take a picture. Like I said, I'm using the kit lens for this. There it is. Now let's go to Take this back to manual. So in order for this to work, you definitely need the tripod or to have it sitting on something where it's not moving at all. So let's go to manual. The first thing you want to do here is put the ISO at 100. Okay, hit the button up here or you can tap the screen back here, but make sure that ISO is at 100. Once that is set to 100, then let's come over here. I know you can't see it in this lighting, but push get this guy here push the button here the toggle okay toggle that we're gonna up this to let's go to 11 let's, let's put that aperture at f11 okay actually you know what let's go to f9 leave it at f9 and what we're trying to do we want to get this a little bit brighter so we're gonna up that exposure meter just keep turning this and it's going to turn your shutter speed it's going to lower it, and let's take it to right about, eh, let's see. So in order to activate, you just tap, just half tap this and it'll reactivate once it goes off. So we're going to leave it right there, that's fine, right between the zero and there. And right now on this lighting, and this, this will change depending on where you are, but the main thing is you want to have the ISO at 100 and the f-stop, you can play with it. I like to be around f7 up to, say, f13, and that range just so you get the majority of what you're looking at in focus here. So let's stay there and uh, as the exposure meter read here, okay, we're right at exposure I want, five. So let's take this. Now hopefully I didn't shake it. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm gonna do this one more time. So this time I'm going to actually set the timer to uh, two seconds so I don't get any camera shake. Let's push that. Now let's try to take the picture again. Again, on the tripod. Let's try it again. There, now it's totally still. Just in case I was getting any camera shake when I was pushing the shutter button. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we are opening this up. I'm going to open this in Windows 10. If you have Lightroom, then you know, you're probably well familiar with it. So uh, I'm not going to go over Lightroom at all because you already know how to use it. You probably got the raw files and you're more advanced. So this is for somebody who's very new who wants to just tweak some things. But first, let's look here. This is the picture I took in the auto mode. And as you can see, it's really dark, um, hardly any any uh, detail comes through here other than right around the lights right here it's a pretty worthless picture this is the type of picture that i'm used to getting uh, before i really started diving into the settings and in trying new things so then come over here and then this is what i'm getting now and now this is good don't get me wrong this is a lot better you can see a lot more detail here and if you right click on your mouse here come down to file info while well, you're in windows 10 photo when you just pull it up it'll automatically be in photos here but here you see you're at the five second shutter the iso is 100 and the iso being at 100 is what's giving you this all this detail 
see you got your detail back in here and this picture looks really nice it could look better so let's go into that let's go to the next one okay this one's even better but i think i've already tweaked that one so this one here i have not touched yet so what we're going to do now is we can go ahead and close this because as you can see here it's all all the settings are where you had it on the camera as you saw we're going to close that we're going to come up here edit and create and now we can do a bunch of things here we're just going to go up here to the basic edit function okay now here you can play around uh you can obviously you could look over here change all these funky presets i don't play with those you can hit enhance and it'll automatically brighten it to that i don't like that either i'm going to undo that so what i like to do here is go to adjust i like to go into light and right in here in this type of photo i like to play with the highlights and the shadows so um, I don't mess with the contrast, and I don't mess with the exposure, but if you look at the highlights here, you can bring the highlights down, or you can take them up, and really make that glow. So that's what you can do here. In Lightroom, you can make it, you can you can really blow the out with the highlights. You can make things a lot more drastic. But in Windows, it's it's fairly subtle, so it's hard to really screw up. In Lightroom, if you don't know what you're what you're doing, you can really make it look funky, which is good. Some people like that. But for the sake of this, I'm going to kind of make it glow a little bit more. So put that up to 12. My philosophy on this is try to make it look as natural as possible. Make the tweaks. Like I said, they're tweaks. You're not remaking the entire photo here. So here you can up the shadow. Now this this preference here is going to be totally dependent on if you want to see everything in the back. Or if you want to, you know, more of the focus to be on the tree. I I like to kind of push it up just a hair, bring in a little bit more. Actually, let's push it up. Now, something I like to do here, clarity on this, I like to punch up a little bit. And now the vignetting, because I want the central focus here, I am going to bump that up and make the outer edges a little bit darker. So we're still getting the main... You know this now again this is all preferential this is just how i like this particular you know this to me this looks good so i like that let's see does the color help if you bump it up uh, we're gonna, i'll bump that up a little let's add a little warmth to it too a little warmer a little more glow yeah that's nice put that at about 20 and i like that now if you want to see you can hit undo all and then redo Okay, so it didn't do much, just, like I said, it's just a little tweak, but it could make a big difference. So there, I like that. Let's save that. So that's it, folks. It is that simple. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to take this outside once it starts snowing I, I know there's a lot of cool places around town that i'd like to get some photos of and this is exactly what i'm going to do I, don't, I might not use the kit lens i may actually use a wide angle or something but i'm going to do uh i'm going to do it exactly the way i just showed it here and i'm hoping to get some pretty good results because i tried it a couple of years ago and the photos were horrible so hopefully this will give me the results i want i can really capture that atmosphere that i love about christmas all right again thanks for watching subscribe uh, look at all my other videos if if you are new to uh, the t7i or if you want to just you know see lenses or whatever all right again happy holidays and uh we'll see you soon bye